When you start the 3Play A20, you're brought to the home screen. The home screen shows you a menu ring with several options. Let's start out by clicking on the help option. Here you have access to all of the documentation for the system. The 3Play user guide is available as a searchable PDF file and you can also print this if you want a hard copy outside of the system. You also have access to the license agreement and the about information for the 3Play system. Next we have the utilities option and this allows you to register your 3Play, to check for updates on the internet, to defragment the drives inside of the 3Play system, and to restore the system to factory defaults. Before restoring a 3Play system to its factory defaults, make sure to check with your reseller or new tech tech support. Restoring the system to factory defaults will restore all of the software back to its original state like it was when it came out of the box. This will remove any updates that you may have applied. So remember, if you do run into a situation where you restore the system, you want to go back and reapply any updates. The next option is the shutdown option, and this allows you to restart the 3Play system, shut it down completely, or exit out to Windows. Next. We have the Open Jewel, and this allows you to work with any sessions that have already been created on the 3Play system and shows you all of the drives that are currently installed. The new option is actually where you start when you get to the home screen when you fire up the system for the first time, and this is where you can create a brand new session inside of 3Play A20. First of all, you can name the session. If you don't name the session, it will use today's date. We'll go ahead and create a session called 3Play 820 Demo. Underneath that, you have your record configuration panel. This allows you to work with the four hard drives that are installed in the system. Within the system, you have four hard drives, and the 3Play A20 will allow you to record two high-definition video streams per hard drive. This record configuration panel is where you set up which cameras are going to be recorded to which hard drives. Here in the record configuration panel, you can see the four hard drives in the system, and you have the ability to configure two inputs per hard drive. You can select from any of the cameras coming in, and if you're using less than eight inputs, you can select none. We've selected camera one and two on drive one, three and four on drive two, five and six on the next drive, seven and eight on the next drive. Once you've set up the record configuration panel and actually started the session, you can't go back and change any of that recording configuration. So you want to make sure you get this right when you're setting the session up. If you decide later that you want to add more cameras or something like that, you will have to come out and start a new session. The next area is the session volume selection area, and this allows you to select one of the hard drives currently installed in the 3Play as the session drive. The session drive will house all of the information about the session, the resolutions that you've set up, all the proc amps, even the things that you set up inside of the live production environment will be remembered in the session file. And all of that gets saved to one hard drive, and that's the hard drive that you pick with this variable. Next is the ability to select your video standard. Now on a multi-standard machine, you can select NTSC, PAL, or NTSC-J. On a single standard machine, NTSC is the only selection. Below that, you have the ability to select the resolution for the output of your session. And this can be 1080i, 1080 at 30p, or 1080 at 24p. It can be 720p, or 720 at 30p, 720 at 24p, or standard definition in 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 aspect ratios. Setting the resolution in the system only sets the output resolution. All of the inputs can be a mixture of high definition and standard definition in a variety of formats, SDI, Component, or Composite, or YC, if you happen to be working with standard definition. Once everything is configured for your session, you're ready to go ahead and create it. Simply hit the Create Session button. This will take you to the Sessions page. On the sessions page, you have the ability to import media that you might want to use during your session. Nutex 3Play A20 allows you to import external content, video clips, still images, and audio files that can be used during your instant replay production.
To add external content, simply click on the Add button and navigate to where the content is. This can even reside on an external drive. Here, I'm going to import a couple of video clips to be used as bumpers during the instant replays. Remember, you can also import still images and audio files. Once all the external content is selected, simply click the Import button. Newtext 3 Play works with a wide variety of file formats, but there are times where you may work with file formats that you need to transcode. The media importer inside of 3 Play 820 is smart enough to do this automatically for you. So if you want to bring in, say, an Apple ProRes file, you can do that and the media importer will automatically transcode it for you on the way in. Once you've imported all your external content, you're ready to start the session. Click on the Start Session button.